Um, hello. Welcome to Jade Kind Video Gaming. My name is Adam. I'm here with the third episode of the Dungeon Siege 2 Let's Play. And, uh, hmm. Let's see, it looks like we still have probably the stuff that we got. So I guess it did save, I believe. Um, hmm. Apparently, when you, uh, save and exit the game and then rejoin, it starts you back uh, here at the teleporter. Which I guess wouldn't be so bad if we could teleport to where we'd just been, but we'll have to walk. Not too big of a problem. I guess since I'm uh, back in town, I might as well just double check if I can go over to this great hall and do that other quest. I doubt it, but... Um, Uh, this area is off limits to prisoners, so still prisoners, still not allowed. If I select him... Okay, I was gonna say, it's like, wait a minute, what if I select the non-prisoner? No, he's still with me. But, uh... See, do we have any money? Still no money. Alright, I guess I just go back into the wilderness and, uh... Continue on. Alright. In the uh, future, I guess depending on the situation, sometimes I might choose to uh, walk back to where we were. Um, I decided I decided not to do that this time because it's just something that I've just now learned about how the game works and uh, as, or relearning about how the game works and decided I'd be probably best to share that with you as I go. It, uh, sometimes it just moves where I am. Oh, which means these guys that I killed last time are back. Alright, so I killed them again. Um, and now we still have this guy that we... Uh, now we're back to where we were, so about two minutes and some information. What are they doing? Oh, they're ambushing or whatever. Yeah, about two minutes in and we're back to where we were. Not too terrible. And we'll kill these little guys. They're cool little helmets. Now that big guy went over this way. Now I hope that no one jumps down on me from up here. And that it's not a deeper ambush. Oh no! That that I actually remember from however many years ago I played this. Oh, he was bait, apparently. Whoops. Yeah, that guy got destroyed. <laughs> Statue. Right. I wonder if they fixed the issue in this, uh, in this game. Because, um, you know, there were chests that just didn't have anything in them in the last one and it was bothersome. Maybe that's not a problem, though. Let's see. Vigilant Gloves. Um, Nature Magic Damage, Mana Regeneration, Lightning Resistance. And, uh, and more armor, so yeah, strictly better. Here, you may have these gloves. Uh, armor 4, armor 2, you do not want those gloves. Uh, you might want these ones, though. What are these? Armor 6, plus 2. There we go. Yeah, I guess I was in, just in town, and I could have probably, um, sold some of this junk that I have and gotten some money. Probably, uh, next time I'm back. Anyways, let's carry on here. And, uh, I think this arrow is pointing us towards... ...our next, uh, objective. Let's see. Also, maybe these little dots on our map are enemies or something? 
or NPCs or things like that. Maybe it's dependent on color, whether there are enemies or NPCs. Like these guys, we can just sort of talk to it, looks like. Okay, then. Oh, who's this? My face should look, look familiar. We served together during the Battle of Grelish Beach. I remember you. How did you make it out alive? I had not thought any of you mercs survived. The Dryads had me. But how am I free and ready to rejoin? But now I'm free and ready to rejoin the cause. A shame. We were looking forward to killing you. Where do I report? Go through this gate and report to the tower up ahead. The password is Chava. Welcome back, brother. Thank you, sir. I'm pretty sure I'm being dishonest. Just to be on the safe side, I'm going to destroy their uh, barrels and baskets and stuff. Yes, yes. Take your gold. What's in this basket? That's okay. Oh, yes, mine now. What's up here? Ooh, that's kind of cool. Just bust through big chunks of earth. Look at that. With those camouflage helmets. And all those bushes on top. Yay, level up! I'll get that in a minute. We'll go up here. Um. There we go. I'm like, let's see, how do I use this again? I remember. I think something weird just happened, like a weird sound or something. No, I know we both have. See, now I, I did that quick to not... I just... I'm still having trouble getting these buttons right. I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with me. I just can't seem to remember which one, whether I click left or whether I click right. Ooh, look at me. Ooh. Some sort of weird thing over there. Oh, you're right there. Oh, that must have been what happened a moment ago, was, uh, is that I'd leveled up a skill. Is there nothing over here? Nothing at all other than those little baskets? Ugh, what a waste. Oh, that is open. I could... There we go. Let's see, we'll get this while I go. Um, I'm getting pretty... You know what, we're getting pretty close. I think I'm going to keep those those levels so that I have a couple points to spend when I get to the, like, the next level up point and uh, can get a couple of those next skills. I think that'd probably be the best thing to do is to hold on to them until we get to a level... Five. Oh no, we have some sort of summoner. Oh, look at all these guys up here. Oh. Oh no. Help mana, help mana. Okay, apparently this is actually dangerous. Running away. Alright. Yep. You, you guys come in here. Alright. Alright, the shaman. Alright. Hunter guy. Okay. Alright, we got this. Ah. Yeah. 
Okay, there we go. Alright, we, we got this. We're safe. No problem. I don't know what we were ever worried about. Is this... This must be like a boss, dude. Yeah, boss. I'm going with boss, dude. Oh, we got him. I mean, I was never worried. Um... Do I have... Okay, not, not needed for that. That would just be... That should be silly, of course. No need to resurrect for that. He's, uh, he's just unconscious. He'll be up in a moment. He gets up. I think he will auto-cast his healing spell. And, uh... I feel like... Maybe we should just go this way, and, um, follow these torches, and maybe try and stick to the quest, and, uh, not mess with, uh, those, those scary guys. Yes. If we just killed quest. the Morden guards, we could leave the tower standing. Burning them is the best way to keep, uh, more Morden from coming. Plus my only option to say something here. Hmm. What is on your mind? Those towers are fine structures. Shame to waste them. The sight of them boils my blood. Treachery is the modern way. Do not stand in my way, then. Uh, I set the torch to them. Yes, well, when you put it that way. I do. Password! Ah, uh, mmm, one of these. That is indeed the password. The password for kill the filthy mercenary! Die, traitor! Oh! Well, interesting. Okay. Alright then. Well, then I guess we kill them anyways. Alright. Now with them uh, auto cast, I think he'll auto cast heal, right? Will you heal him? Uh, apparently not. Let's see. Okay. Um, I've been, I've been trying to heal, and I'm like, am I out of potions? I've been clicking the wrong button. But, uh, but we can heal now that I uh, have the right buttons. So I did. I was I was over on G instead of A. Whoops. All right. Now we got some of these abilities ready. We'll kill off these few guys here. Pick this stuff up. Destroy the cage. I would have died by nightfall had you not arrived. You have my thanks, stranger. Who are you? A prisoner of your people. I once served Valdis. Why am I telling her this? You? A follower of Valdis? I cannot believe that a servant of that merciless tyrant would have acted so bravely. I am his servant no longer. I have seen Valdis' true colors. It is now my pleasure to dispatch the Morden any way I can, as long as they stand between me and my homeland. homeland. Valdis is driving his forces hard. I overheard the Morden complaining of his ruthless demands. He never tires, never rests, and he expects the same from his servants. Valdis will get what's coming to him. Now, now do I burn this tower to the ground. How do I burn this tower? With fire! I burn it with fire! Why am I asking how? It hasn't how? rained in a while. The wood's sure to be dry. If you could make a torch, it would burn beautifully. I... Watch out. I saw them loading explosives inside. How can I make a torch? Use pieces of my cage. Light them on that campfire over there. 
Thanks, I think I can figure it out now. Alternatively... No, apparently I must make a torch. Do I have to equip this? Yes. I'm like, I can cast, like, fire from my hands. Why, why do I have to, you know, go make a torch? But apparently I do. So, there we go. Torch made. can out of here, and I guess we'll carry on for a bit here. Hmm, you fight well. My thanks, you did well yourself. Killing these creatures is my joy. I only hope I don't get too... Oh, I wanted to hear what he had to say. There's times where I'm like, I'm hitting the ground because there's actually, like, you can just hit the ground in this if... Apparently they saw that explosion or something. Let's see, um... Oh. Yep, yeah, once I get the right button, that's easy. I'm like, I need to use that big area of effect one. Why is it not working? Once again, wrong button. Why don't you, uh... Alright, if I give you enough mana, you will heal him. That's it. Okay. If we walk back here and walk through again, will you start your dialogue over? I mean, I know you probably shouldn't, but... It happened for something else earlier with, like, a key... No. Alright. Darn you, Morden, stopping me from hearing dialogue within the game. I hate you. Oh, a teleporter. I can now travel back. Oh, what are you, some sort of magic user? Now you are you some sort of dead former magic user? Let's see, we have uh, the Elven Shrine this way, and the Dried Outpost is this way. So we'll get uh, whatever these lecterns are. Lesser chance of strength, and intelligence. So those are some chants for those uh, shrines like we saw earlier. Hmm. I feel like there's some things that we've missed back, you know, before we've gotten to this point. And I want to see them, since we can now teleport here, and part of me knows, okay, so, if I, if I save and close, I just, I think I end up back in town, so. So there's no reason to, uh, concern myself now, I can definitely easily get back here one of the things that is nice in this game that they did not have in the former. Okay. So, uh, earlier when I was like, I'm gonna check it out and not fight the little guys, I think I'm now gonna go fight the little guys. Let's see, they weren't that far back to my knowledge. Let's see. Right up here. Those. Magic user. Yes, you exploded. 
Alright, so now we're fighting these guys. We're winning. Oh, I think he's actually increased to the point where... Um... See one of them? Yeah, no, they're like hiding in these bushes, man. Like in ways that they did not do in the former, in the previous game. They're like really concealed. But, uh, this game definitely does look nicer. Alright, and you're about to level up too, so we'll do a little more fighting here and level you guys up, I suppose. Ooh. Oh, this is that camp that we saw from the other side. These are these, like, pterodactyl. Uh, they're here. Okay, this backtracking didn't take as long as I thought it might. But we did get a chest, so that's cool. Alright, and pick everything up. Okay, so we've done our backtracking. And uh, what can we do? We can now access this level, so uh, summon fortitude. Uh, dryad summons are taught to respect the companions they call and are constantly developing methods to increase their creatures ability to survive and comp whatever Summon creatures extra health um, The enveloping embrace um, it's often invoked by, uh, Protective embrace spells which protect the party in battle um, more power and duration for protective spells and then arctic mastery ice ma uh, magic damage and uh, power damage is increased. So, currently I'm using an ice spell, so let's see, what are these required? Does anything, am I able to unlock anything by just getting one of these? Yes, what is this? Invulnerability? Um, checks nearby? Eh, maybe. I'll certainly get it eventually. Um, but right now I think I want to get two points into here and just get, you know, really increase the, uh, power of my... Let's, like, let's actually look at it. Right now, Ice Bolt does um, 20 to 33 damage. So, let's see what this is actually doing for me. From 20 to 33 to 23 to 38. Not bad. And with him, he can now access these. He can get um, character can equip shields and uh, blocking. So, defensive. Um, character can equip two-handed melee weapons. And they get better, and one-handed melee weapons in... So, dual wielding, um, two-handed, or with uh, sword and board. So, I guess that those are the, the three paths that you can go, and uh, increase the damage, damage, and uh, defense. So, what do I want with this guy? I don't know, what, what is this here? Uh... to 15 compared to 3 to 6. He's a giant. What are, what are these? Um, you know, I'll put one hand here because I'm not... I'm, first melee level 5. Current melee level 4. Oh. Oh, he's total level... He's the same level, but he has that one level in combat magic. Darn it. Okay, uh, well in that case, um, I'm going to spend one of these in one of these spots. Um, more more likely to make it critical. And I'll save the other one for when he becomes five, and I'll make the decision by then. <laughs> Darn it. I thought they'd both... Oh, I forgot. Anyways, I guess now I uh, don't have a whole lot of other place to go other than forward. Um... I know that there's some places to explore a little bit further back, but that's like almost all the way back to the town. Um, there's like a tower or something, if I remember correctly, but I'm, I'm sure something will eventually take us there, like one of the quests within the town. Um, and, uh, let's see, which way do we go? 
Oh, something sauce. We go to destroy whatever sauce. That's where. Fine, we'll come up here. Destroy these things. Oh no! Oh good. Reptile and monster things. And I'm sure that we have uh, plague. Remember we were told the animals would give us plague? I'm sure we have plague and that's going to be a plot point at some point. Is, oh no, you've got the plague. But, uh... Let's see here. Ooh, there's a big one over there. Um, where, where are you, giant friend? Okay. I'm sorry, giant friend, that was a little slow on my part, uh... I, I was definitely trying to, uh... See him now, we can heal him. up. Is this one of the towers we're supposed to destroy? Probably not. There's not a whole bunch of Morden around it, so... Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't even see you, little guy. I'd have, I'd have attacked you. I, I, I promise. I just didn't know you were there to attack. What's in here? Um... Oh, we press this brick in and raise it up. these gloves do? Um, combat magic gloves, okay. Uh, Mage's Book of the Rat. Let's see. Plus four health. What is... Oh. Uh, I suppose... Whatever, I'll, I'll switch that over because I have to switch all the spells. But there, we have a spell book slot. Oh, look, I can actually... View the character. Huh, cool. Nothing nifty. Yeah, so I can switch to that spell book at some point. But, uh, probably not quite yet. Oh, look at that pretty waterfall. Okay, that's a problem. It's like, why is he uh, running that close to them? He, uh, he thinks he's a melee attacker. That's not good. He's, uh... He's not a melee attacker. Let's see... Should we go up or around? Up. You! You are the one who kidnapped Tansy! Tell me where she is or I will kill you, fiend! Ah, I kill you first, green lady! That <laughs> <laughs> uh, wasn't funny. But it was. Oh, I kill you first, green lady. A health shrine here. And, uh... Hmm. That looks like a very scary place to go. Um... Oh, good, I can talk to her. Do they see me? Yes, they do. Let's kill them first so we don't interrupt our dialogue. Because apparently this game will do that. Do you guys see us? Alright, talk. Oh, good, she's fine. Oh, I nearly bested him, the little imp. Tansy will surely die now. <laughs> Tansy? They nearly killed Hesla as well, but I was able to bring her safely back to Ireland. Tansy, oh, I could not reach her in time. Tansy is my niece. We three. Tansy, my sister Hesla, and I were searching for survivors following the Morden attacks. Tansy was taken by the treacherous Haku. The Haku? Those little masked forest creatures? Yes, they are wild fiends. 
caves nearby have long been a Haku stronghold, and gladly did we allow them to remain, even though they did occasionally cause mischief. We should have exterminated them when we had the chance. Oh, poor Tansy! Aye, well, war does indeed reveal one's true colors. I'm so sorry about your niece. Please, stranger, you seem able and well equipped. Help me find Tansy. Ugh, I am wounded seriously. I do not think I can continue the search. Tansy will be done for if she is not rescued soon. Certainly, lady. I shall get to the bottom of this. Oh, bless you, friend. I am sure they cannot have taken Tansy far. There is a vast network of caves within these cliffs. I recall coming across another entrance once, in the dark jungle between this bridge and the next. I was headed there when that horrible vermin ambushed me. I will do my best to find it, lady. Now, take yourself back to... Ire Yulan, those wounds look deep. My prayers will be with you, friend. I will make my way back to town and join my sister in the infirmary. Please hurry. Tansy must be terribly frightened. Oh, but you, you're in fit shape to run and uh, disappear, apparently. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna end this one here. Um, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, join me again next time for some more Dungeon Siege Two. Have a great day. Bye.